Hello boys and girls, hello everyone. It's General J with you in another interesting video. And this time I'm going to talk about my pick for top 10 heroes to use in defense for rush attack wars. So basically I'm going to do my top 10 picks and if you have any of these heroes uh, it will be beneficial to max them, limit break them, and use them on your rush attack defense. I'm going to talk about uh, synergies, uh, on which position each hero is uh, mostly used or, or best used. And yeah, we're going to discuss about, I'm going to discuss every hero and uh, just to show you how I do things in rush war. I like rush war because these days uh, rush war can be much easier than the other uh, war types uh, but also <laughs> it can be painful i will explain uh, in the hero section which heroes can be really be a pain and which heroes can be used uh, best in defense of course some of these heroes can be also used in attack but uh, primarily I'm looking into defense because uh, you can use practically any hero in attack uh, on rush wars but uh, I'm going to concentrate mostly on the heroes that shine on defense so uh, these heroes are mostly common used at the top 100 alliance wars but uh, they also can be, can be used uh, in lower brackets so top 200 top 500 doesn't doesn't matter but yeah so i hope you're going to enjoy this video and so let's start the countdown from number 10 to number one so my pick for number 10 is a four star yes you see it good it's kalo and this is probably going to be the only four, four star on this list for my top 10 picks and some of you might say why Kalo he was uh, he's no longer the meta hero but uh, I'm going to surprise you I see him uh, a lot in the lower tiers of uh, under top 50 alliances so in rush wars and in rush tournaments he's uh, sometimes uh, in the defenses so basically when he came out he was a menace in Russia rush wars they nerfed his uh, damage twice and his stats I think because uh, they nerfed him because SG of course don't want to see a four star in top 50 uh, you know big spender uh, alliance wars so <laughs> they basically nerfed him and he was basically used in the team with uh, Alfriki and with the Reviver. So in the case with the Reviver, uh, Kalo would be on the far left and the Reviver would be on the far right. Because uh, if there's only Kalo, Kalo alive, he will first fire all the specials. Because specials go from left to right, you need to understand that. And then at the last one at the right is reviver he will then revive some heroes if the revive was uh, you know occurred so yeah if if uh, later you know uh, when that meta changed uh, people stopped using revivers because uh, we had newer heroes we had better heroes we had a different synergy so but Kalo still stayed but this time on the right side with a massive big cleanser on the left so again if all the team died and Kalo is still alive he will first cleanse everything that you have from your attack team and then he will hit from for the other special usually he was combined with uh, I don't know Lohi or uh, Guardian Kong or somebody that, that does mass dispel so the dispels everyone or at least three targets so yeah uh, I still see him in defenses and I used used him in defense sometimes in rush tournaments or in uh, rush wars so he will be my number 10 pick 
so uh, his time uh, might you know pass but uh, he is still useful especially for rush yeah because if you don't have a lot of meta heroes that are currently the strongest uh, you can easily use Kalo plus Reviver on the far far right side and you will get good scores uh, your defense won't be one shot at all the time trust me so yeah Kalo stone skin you see my Kalo is at 80 and has uh, 25 emblem nodes so more defense his HP is almost 2k so that's like a five star so yeah <coughs> he also bring this sorcerer uh, master delay that can be uh, sometimes crucial on the defense so Kelo at number 10 let's go on okay so at number nine it's Relius so <coughs> this very good all is a reviver so I picked Relius here but basically this number spot 9 this number 9 is for all the good revivers so is it costume mother north is it costume alberic or maybe uh, dabria or any other reviver you have so i picked relios because he is the newest from them all i think and because uh, all family has this cool stuff uh, where they uh, you cannot bring them uh, uh, ailment that uh, reduces their mana. So if you if you cast something that reduces their mana, which is very useful in rush wars, they are going to get plus mana. So this is very good for Relius. And of course this passive, where uh, all the mana received from specials is going to be reduced by minus 80%. So all of you that want to use Nautica or Xenofold or heroes like that you need to watch out not to use those heroes against an alls if there is an all in the defense team those heroes will be they will only, they will only give 20 percent uh, of what they usually give for mana so Ludwig also the same thing every, every special that gives mana is going to be reduced by 80 percent so watch for that and uh, apart from okay 30 percent health for our allies not not very much but okay he has a 40 percent chance to get revived with 30 uh, 30 percent hp so all allies so 40 percent chance is not great some revivers have more than 40 percent chance but uh it's his next ability that is this moonrise ward for four turns that reduce really reduces the damage from special skills on all your uh, allies so if it's holy then it's 30 percent more so don't go with mana boosters here and don't go with the uh, holy uh, this hero is very good against those so basically yeah uh, this hero is my number nine pick as also is any reviver uh, if you have a reviver, if you're using him with Kalo, you'll use him on a far right side and Kalo on far left. And if you only use reviver, use him on far left. Why is that? Because if some of your heroes died with their full mana, so your heroes charge their special full mana, but they don't get to shoot it, they don't get to charge it, and they die, the opponent kills them when relius revives them revives them if they're on full mana they are going to immediately shoot that special i don't know if you ever saw that but i saw it a lot of time when you kill uh, uh i don't know alfriki or some or ludwig or someone that has a full mana if they get revived they are going to uh, immediately fire so they don't have to wait another turn so use relius on the far left side don't use revivers on the far right because if that things happen uh, they are going to need to wait one more turn so the opponent can kill your full mana hero again if you understand me so at number nine relius or any other five star reviver okay, let's so go with number eight. Eight. at number eight we got no other than the old guy ludwig yeah so this guy is 
pretty outdated uh, based on his stats I would say but still he is uh, very widely used in the rush defense department also in uh, attack but uh, it lo on lower brackets uh, top 100 you can see him a lot of times so basically high defense and uh, uh, high health the taunt the alpha taunt on, on uh, level 90 and the regular taunt that uh, lasts for six turns 84 percent defense against special skills for six turns and you all know nearby allies uh, receive mana each turn for six turns so at the uh, rush war uh, this is uh, like two or maximum three turns if you don't have any mana on the heroes next to Ladrig. So, yeah, uh, he's very good because he will protect your team, mostly from uh, high hitters. He can survive a lot of specials and he will charge the mana. So I, I recommend uh, to put uh, your uh, hitters or vital heroes next to him to benefit from uh, his special. So his best position is, I would say, I would say uh, support left or right from the tank don't put him in the corner because you will lose uh, most of his ability and as a tank uh, currently he is squishy and with the introduction of uh, the super talent nodes from uh, uh, season one wizards uh, they can cleanse him with tiles so he's not a very good tank so mainly support and how to counter him, you can basically uh, do a dispeller or a blocker to hit him uh, before he charges or after he charges. But then uh, if you hit him af after he charges, you have a problem uh, of uh, also dispelling uh, the heroes next to him. They are going to be charged uh, really fast. So you have to deal with him before he charges his special. So that will be our number eight. So let's go At to number, number seven. seven. It's no one other than the mighty Nautica. So maybe this hero has currently reached its maximum potential and uh, we have some very good heroes to counter her. But for Rush War, she is still very, very good and very useful for defense. So a construct hero heals all allies for <clears throat> 45%, increases the mana of nearby allies by 33%. At rush war attack, that's that's almost full. When she goes off, they are almost full. You, you need to make sure that, you need to know that next turn they are going to be full. So the heroes, they are standing left and right from Nautica. Uh, <clears throat> and nearby allies get plus 40% mana generation for four turns. So it's really mandatory that you use uh, the spellers uh, when you're fighting her. And the caster and nearby allies get plus 50% critical chance for four turns. Okay, so crit is not maybe that important on defense, but still useful. So uh, a lot of HP, a lot of defense. She is very tough to kill. And uh, the dodge double limit uh, break talent. So 20% chance to dodge at six turns. It's very useful. So Trash War, her I would say her best position is a tank. But I saw her a lot of time as a support. Uh, at tank, the the players know to use her a lot with uh, Ludwig. So Ludwig uh, should could pump her with mana and uh, maybe Nautica with will pump uh, Ladrig with mana, so their specials are just going off. And uh, the most important, the heroes that stand next to them. So it's kind of combo that can work, but doesn't do any damage, just heals and uh, gives mana. So it's important what heroes do you have next to Nautica, next to Ladrig. <clears throat> but usually, yeah, tank. And uh, next, to, next to her, uh, two very strong hitters so she is at number seven best position tank and uh, <clears throat> if you go against her 
Make sure you use uh, dispellers or blockers to block her. Uh, so she won't give this uh, mana and, or maybe the smartest, just you use alls against her. If you use alls against her, her uh, mana that she gives will be lowered by 80%. That's a passive from all, all heroes. So yeah, at number seven, still useful. So at number six, we have the mighty sludges. So a holy average hero, you know sludges. She's the part of the slime family. And we all know how annoying this hero is in each type of PvP, not just in rush attack war. So basically, uh, I could, could have chosen Fungus Teen. She is also very good for rush, but uh, I decided to go with Sludges. Just because she has this uh, Master Mana Shield on Cleric Talent. And she has the region on level 90, so she basically heals as soon as you start the fight. Uh, also, she heals everyone and gives the dance of the slimy for 4 turns. So, 45% chance to dodge special skills and each dodge damages the attacker for 1600 damage. <laughs> so, that's huge when you go into rush. Uh, so, your heroes are going to be charging faster so these four turns uh, seems like age you know so if you hit all the heroes that she put the dance on you will and if they dodge it's a 45 percent chance to dodge so it's almost 50 percent you are going to get damage and when the dance ends the dancer recovers 700 hp so she will again heal everyone after these four turns when the dance ends or even if you Replace their their dance with uh, another dance if you use a dance hero against her So anyway, they are going to be healing a lot. So Yeah, and they reflect with the cleric class. I already mentioned that so very powerful hero. I don't like to I don't like to uh, Go against her in a rush attack war so uh, The best way to counter her is of course to block her Changi is very good, or to use another hero that uh, gives dance, so you can replace the her dance with other dance, and that does damage, or you can do damage uh, upon your dance. So, yeah, basically, you need to have a whole lot of new heroes to go against heroes like this. So, old heroes won't really help. So, either block her, or you need to, you know, replace her dance stats. So. Or kill her as soon as you can. That's that's the best way. So her best position, I will say, support. She can be a tank, but uh, I don't like. There are a lot of uh, purple, uh, very good heroes for with high attack. So basically, sometimes she can die just by tiles if you get the really good board. If you go for one, for purple heroes. So I like to keep her in support. She can also be the wing, but I think the best place is in the sport. So that is our number six. So at number five, going up to the top five, we have Tamlin. So this hero can be very, very tricky and very, very powerful. So sorcerer class that, uh, you know, <clears throat> gives that mana delay. At rush stack, it might not be that much important, but sometimes it can uh, move you away one tile from charging your special skill exactly when you need it. So it's a good class. The Woodland family, so it's a pretty new hero, so not a lot of people have him. This is maybe why you don't see him a lot in the rush defense, but uh, you are going to see him, uh, I'm telling you, more and more when we get this event. So 75% uh, chance to resist mana reduction and mana status ailments. This is very, very good in rush. Also the passives. Resistance against insanity. This is going to be good also in the insanity war that is coming up. But uh, at top 10 
alliances a lot of players use Insanity Heroes in Rush, so this is very handy. Also, 5% mana when they receive a status element or negative stack. And the <coughs> resistance against status elements stacks and wither effects that affect attack. So you cannot lower <laughs> attack to this guy uh, with nothing, basically. Yeah, and the region talent. That this talent, may, it's not maybe the best one, but it's okay. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> uh, a bit the same on defense and on attack, and uh, really high health, 2.7k. So, this quieting tune is the special. For 50% damage to all enemies, that's solid. Uh, enhanced defense element. All enemies get minus 64 defense against special skills. And it lasts until the enemy takes damage from a special skill six times. So that's brutal. <laughs> so, uh, bear with me, you can dispel this, but if you dispel it, so if, it's, if it ends or it's removed or replaced, the enemy gets silenced for six turns. And to be silenced for six turns in Rush Attack War, it's just a major, major thing. So this hero can go both ways, defense and attack. And attack. So, yeah, I would say, uh, you know, this minus 64% defense is also very high against special skills. So it's not a regular defense. And <laughs> six times special skill, that is really, really... Really uh, high-lasting uh, debuff ailment. So basically, yeah, <clears throat> I would say his best posi position is tank or support. Maybe support better than tank. But yeah, how to counter him? Well, same thing as the other power heroes, heroes uh, of these days. So either block him, stun him, uh, take his mana, something that will make him uh, enable to use this enhan enhanced defense ailment on all your heroes. So basically, yeah, you don't want to get silenced for six turn when you remove this. So you need to kill him before he charges. That's the only smart idea I have. So very powerful at number five is Tamar. So at number four, it's none other than the Mighty Season 1 Tune Viveka. So Tune Viveka, yes, you know, the one of the most annoying things. Uh, her time is slowly passing by. We have introduced uh, with the new more powerful heroes, but Viveka is still very, very powerful for rush attack. And I'm going to tell you why. So Tune Resistance. We all know this. So 75 uh, extra chance to resist all status element, mana reduction, and buff dispels. And yes, <laughs> so apart from that, she has, has this uh, master, superior master mana shield. If you get her to 25 uh, emblem nodes, so 60% chance to resist direct mana reduction and reflect negative mana effects and effects that prevent the use of special skill. If effects were resisted and reflected, the blah, 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 discharge requires 30% health. So basically you have 25% chance to give her any kind of uh, mana ailment or mindless attack or something like that. And you have a 60% uh, chance that this thing is going to be reflected back at you if you don't succeed. So this is very powerful, especially for a tank. And uh, you know her stats uh, here. She has three or three K HP with a five star troop. I saw it, I have it. Uh, this go over over four K. So she's very, very hard to kill. Uh, some players might, might say she's a, uh, you know, tile dump, so you can rework your board. But basically I think she guards the whole team, you know, not to be killed. She gives, you know, 45% defense for four turns. And for Holy Charters, this is uh, two turns longer and, and undispellable. And she also cleanses all the, all the elements. And she will 
basically provide uh, provide uh, you know life in turns so your other heroes in defense might get their special skill charged and uh, so basically she's a very good tank so the best position is tank and the best way to counter her <laughs> like you counter all the toon heroes and that is <laughs> i don't know you need to try your luck so basically when i go against her i mainly kill her with tiles so this is important <clears throat> Because even if you try to cleanse her or give her some, you know, healing ailments, uh, it might go off, but uh, she will still uh, going to do, if paired with the other two heroes, she is going to heal them massively. So, yeah, annoying, but it's doable. But uh, this is why Vivica, the tune Vivica, is uh, one of the best tanks in Rush War Attacks, in my opinion. So, yeah, she is a number uh four i think so yeah top three and number three we have uh, the mighty lemonwood from the star elves astro elves family so yeah uh lemonwood is probably going to be on all the lists of the top top wars you know for top 10 heroes to use in any war but uh specifically in rush I'm gonna explain you why I think he's the number three, my pick for number three. It's basically because of, uh, you know, he has the pierce talent, he has the shared damage and immune to poison, but basically it's his special. So, never misses his target, so can't blind him. Deals 380% damage to the target, reduces the mana of the target by 20%, that is very important in rush. And if the target has more than 30% mana, after the mana reduction, this special skill repeats, targeting a random enemy. The damage is reduced on each consecutive hit. So, I mean, if you see him fire his specials on, you know, heroes that have more than 30% mana, he can, you know, really do havoc. So he can destroy three or four heroes just by one special. And especially in Rush, Every hero is very fast, so every team that attacks you is going to <laughs> have their mana, you know, charge very fast. So basically, it's going to be very uh, often that when Lemonwood goes off, all the heroes are going to have more than 30% mana. So only maybe heroes if that have uh, used their special before, but basically at... Uh, uh, faster mana charge, his special is going to be more utilized. So basically, his best position is at wing. So far left or far right depends, uh, depends on uh, who you are using him with. But basically, if you have some high defense down hero, and after that, if Lemonwood hits, he's just going to destroy everyone. Uh, a lot of times, People are complaining to me that Lemonwood will always hit the hero with the lowest amount of mana, so the attack won't spread around. But, you know, it's it's a chance, so it's a percentage of chance. So, you know, if from five, five targets, he's going to choose one. But basically, if in Rush you have, like, you need one tile to charge your heroes and Lemonwood goes off, you know, against you, he's going to destroy you. So... This is why he is my uh, number three pick. Yes, Lemonwood. Unfortunately, I don't have this hero. I did a lot, a lot to get him, but I didn't get him. So if you have a Lemonwood, you know, and how to counter him? <clears throat> well, you can counter him with the taunt, with the defense up, you know, with a lot of things. You can throw a lot of things at him. You just can't blind him. But uh, I think taunt is very good because... That's how you are going to, uh, you know, stop his uh, damage to spread to your other heroes. So, yeah. At so number three is Lemon. Number two. Eight at number two, we have the powerful goblin, Green Steel. Yeah, this is the guy. This is the one of the most annoying tanks in Rush Attack War. So, why is that? Well, apart from his defense up, you know, the 
double limit break talent. He is passive blind and uh, his big heal, 54% heal for allies. He gives 450 attack and 450 defense to all allies. So, and they get plus 30% mana generation for four turns. If you remove this, they are getting 10% mana. So, it's not, it's not really, how do I say, recommended to use cleansers. You can use heroes, you know, that uh, still uh, grow. The, I think Fungustin is very good against him, if you have Fungustin. If not, like myself, then you're screwed. So, a trash attack. If Grim Steel goes, one, goes off one time, you are still okay. If he goes two times, goes off two times, you can still, you know, draw the match. But if he goes off three times, you are basically dead. All the heroes around him are going to do so much damage. And they have their defense so pumped up that you are barely, barely, you will do barely any damage to them. So basically, Grim still is number two because he is bringing... Uh, so much support to the entire team. So healing, attack up, and in defense up, and gives mana boost. So a trash attack. He is my number two pick, and he's very, very annoying. I mostly use four green heroes when I go against him, and uh, I use, uh, what's her name? Flame Tongue. Yeah. Is it Flame Tongue? The green goblin because uh, she gives a uh, wither, so at least I can negate his uh, attack up, you know, with her. So, but mainly, you need to kill him before he goes off three times. So, he's my number two. Let's go and to the top spot. Our number one of my picks for a rush attack war defense is no other than the queen of a rush attack war, Bernadette. So, this granny, I would say, is an incredibly powerful and incredibly annoying hero to face in Rush War. And, you know, people at lower brackets, at under top 100, maybe didn't get a chance to fight her in Rush. She's annoying in regular PvP, let's say in Rush. So, when you face, you know, when you go to top 20 alliances, if you play there, you will see a lot of these, these tanks in Russia Dark Wars. So why is this? Okay, apart from this, uh, you know, boosted region, you know, bear family class, so you cannot do defense element on her, and the health recovery on buff received, so she's healing, you know, when receiving buffs. Uh, the... The Druid class is nothing special, but she has a lot of, a lot of HP, 2.8k, and 1.6, 1, 1. she can be even 1.7 at defense. So with her proper 5-star troop, she almost goes to, you know, 3.45k HP and uh, 1.9k defense, I think. So, when she hits you, she will dispel buffs from all enemies. She will deal 250% damage to all enemies. All enemies turn into cursed paintings for five turns. This effort can be cleansed. Cursed paintings have 70% attack, 70% defense, and the following special skill. So the special skill is, you know, an annoying sniper attack that uh, does nothing. And you have a 60% chance to remove the cursed painting helmet from the caster. But yeah, when you do that, you, you are without mana. So, basically, taunt will not help you, counter attack will not help you, immunity will not help you, buff removal will not help you because she will dispel everything when she hits you, before she does the painting stuff, cursed painting stuff. So, how to counter her? Oh, before we say how to counter, we'll say that her best position is definitely tank. Usually she is flanked with uh, a powerful healer like, I don't know, Fungustine or someone that does health. And uh, 
sometimes even Nautica to recharge her mana fast or maybe Ludwig. You know, just when you think, oh, I'm out of the cursed painting, she goes off again because she has the mana booster next to her. So basically, yeah, but tank is the best position for her. Uh, so how to counter her? There are two ways that I figure out. So uh, the major ways uh, to counter her are the problem because you need to have your heroes charged before she goes off. So uh, Lord Loki can copy her. Chengi can block her so she cannot put the curse painting on you. What else? Uh, Daemon from the same family. I don't know if he's a bear or, or a stag, but he will stop her for doing anything for three turns. What else? Uh, soft skin helps. So soft skin helps of your heroes to, you know, defend from this cursed painting stuff. But mainly, mostly you have you need to have your heroes charged before her. The only way you can defend when you do not have your hero charge are the tunes. So use tunes against her. Use blue tunes, like I don't know, Toon Sarnia, Toon Richard hits hard, Toon Magni, all those stuff, Toon Vivica. So any tune that heals or hit hard because they have 75% to resist this curse painting. Before because she goes off and off and off, and you just can't use your specials the way you need to. So Basically, she is the worst tank I faced in Rush Attack. <clears throat> and I'm very happy that this hero is very slow. Because if she was slow like Grimsteel, we will basically see her mostly in any wars. And she will be a pain <laughs> to do in any wars. So SG did a good stuff for, for putting her at very slow speed. So yeah, that will be my top 10. And Bernadette is at number 1. So boys and girls, those were my top 10 picks for rush attack heroes to use in defense. If you have any of these heroes, max them out, give them limit breaks, double limit breaks, anything you can, and use them on rush attack. It will definitely show you the, be uh, the better result <clears throat> in your defense, and finally the better result for your alliance at wars, at the rush attack wars. So. If you like this video, if you think this video was positive, if you, you know, learn something from it, please like, share and subscribe. I am getting close to 400 subscribers, so please, I would love uh, to see you subscribe. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. This is General J, and bye for now.